Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you for joining me. This is the second video um, of my uh, YouTube journey. So um, this is actually the first video that I recorded. Um, I decided to um, go back and actually start a YouTube channel of my journey with you guys. Um, so in this video, I am going to show you how I did my weekly spread for the week of January 25th through the uh, 31st. And one of the days, uh, the January 28th is pop art day. So I decided to go with a pop art theme and I got a lot of comments on Facebook once they posted these um, spreads or this spread. Uh, so I wanted to um, kind of share with you guys how I went through it and um, what tools I used and kind of how I did all of this. So I actually started out by looking at pop art pictures online and I just decided that I'm going to trace them. I tried to kind of copy them, um, but I figured that I am really not an artist. So what I did was I took a white piece of paper and I held it up to my computer monitor and I traced the outline, which then I traced onto the two individual pieces of paper. And it, for the girl that you see on the screen right now, it was really easy to do because on the back of this page, it's blank. There's nothing on there. Um, but for the other page, the page with the guy, I actually already had a spread for that week because it was last week. And it was really difficult for me to um, get all of the details. So that's why he looks a little bit funny and the girl looks a lot better than um, than the other page. Um, so what I used here was just a regular um, black pen that I had to trace over the lines. And it's a just a regular um, pilot black pen. And here I'm going in and I kind of um, just went for it and wrote in the OMG and I do not like the way that this turned out. I really need to practice how to do letters, um, but it is what it is. I used a stencil. Um, I thought that's going to make at least the the bubble a little bit better, but whoops, um, kind of still messed up on that. Um, then I went ahead and I drew the lines and I tried to keep the ruler kind of in the center of everything, like in the center of the girl. And then I tried to move it around and get those lines in. And before I went in and um, traced the lines in black pen, I tried to erase as much of the pencil marks as I could. And unfortunately, my camera stopped working because I had my entire phone full and so it stopped recording and I didn't know so you didn't get to see how I traced the black lines but not a big deal but literally just used the ruler and went over the lines um, so then I went in and I colored um, I colored the pictures the hair and the shirt and the nails and the lips of the girl and the eyes I did with markers um, that I got from my mom because uh, she she thought that I would need some markers. Um, the brand is Creative Expert, and I have no idea where she got it from. It was probably something like Michael's, because that's typically where she goes for all of her arts and craft supplies. And um, the really cool thing about these is that they are double-sided. So there is one side that is the fine tip, and then one side that's a little wider. And here you see me coloring in the background, and I am using a gel highlighter to do this, which was honestly not the greatest idea. Um, but I knew if I was going to use the markers that my mom got me, um, they were going to leave streaks. So I thought maybe these gel highlighters would be a good idea. I don't know where I got the gel highlighters from. Uh, chances are it was probably from Daiso. Um, which those of you that don't know, it's a really cool Japanese dollar store and they're just called gel highlighters um, and they are really, really smooth. I really like the way that um, these go onto paper. So I really like using them um, back here again. I'm using the uh, markers that my mom got for me to outline the OMG. And um, the reason why I don't like the gel 
is because it makes it a little bit hard to write on after after the gel highlighter is down. And I was a little bit worried about that. I was thinking, how the heck am I going to fill in my week? But actually, the, the reason why I picked kind of this big picture that I'm doing is because this week is kind of a slow week for me. So I knew that I didn't really have a whole lot to worry about this week. And if anything, I can stick down some box stickers and hopefully those would work. Um, I ended up not doing that. Actually, I figured out that I have one pen um, that worked writing on top of the uh, gel highlighter. So luckily that all worked out. Um, the reason I picked blue for this is I, I had that, you see the tape on the sides, it's this clear um, packing tape with a design on it that I got from Michaels many, many years ago. And I kind of, I, well, I can't take it off because it would ruin the page. And I was thinking when I was first printing and putting my planner together that it would just be a nice support for the pages. Um, so in case I do take them in and out of my happy planner discs, um, it's going to give it just a little more support, which it does. So that's why I went with the blue theme. But I actually kind of like the way that it turned out. Um, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, it doesn't really show up. The colors don't really show up as well on the video as they do in in life and here i realized i was getting the highlighter all over my um, desk mat so here is the finished product i did end up going back in um, to put a couple of lines and i used a stencil i don't know where i got this one from i just kind of dug it out somewhere out of my stash of fun things that i've already had in my arts and craft supplies um, and here you see me using multiple different pens, including a marker, and those didn't work. And finally, on my fourth try, I found this pen that actually wrote over the gel highlighter. And there was only a few days that I had stuff planned. So that's where I went in and I put those lines in so that I could eventually write in what I need to do and remember. All right, guys. Well, this is it. Thank you so much for joining me for my second video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will see you in my next video.